welcome to another video and in this video we'll be learning how to do the Venom bracelet. This bracelet was inspired by uh, the Venom movie that's coming out. Uh, I don't remember who made it but I will link his ac account down below in the description. So go check him out. He has a couple of cool uh, projects that he's uh, done. And yeah, so I did the knot and loop method. Uh, you can also do this on a buckle. Uh, you use the four strand core, um, and it is a one strand weave. So you're only going to be using one working strand. Um, I finished it off with a nice little red uh, accenting. Um, kind of reminds me of Venom's tongue. So uh, yeah, I used a uh, microcord, um, red microcord, and then white microcord down the middle. Uh, I always use 550, uh, 550 paracord, so, yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, the person who made this did not, uh, have stitching going down the middle, uh, I decided to add that in as Venom's, like, emblem, he has, like, a cool-looking spider going down, uh, in his chest, so I decided to put a little bit of white accenting going down to represent that, um, so, yeah. I will show you how to do all of this in the tutorial video. Um, so yeah, stay till the end and I might uh, tell you a couple of tips, tricks, and um, things to do. Uh, you don't have to put in the accenting if you don't like it, uh, it's optional. Uh, you just add it in the end if you want it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the tutorial video. Uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already and like the video if you like like what you see and comment down below what uh, other videos you would like to see see you guys in the tutorial in this tutorial um i have my two colors here uh and we're going to be working with the white one first so this is going to be our four strand core right here um and you can do this with the buckle uh, i just preferred it to be more aesthetically pleasing uh, without the buckle since this is venom uh, so what you want to do is make a cow's hitch right here pull it all through just get this in all right there we go and then I'm gonna flip it over with this loop right here like that. Then you're going to take this strand and push it through this these two loops right here. Just like that. And do the same thing with the other strand as well. So let's just take this one and just push it through. that then just cinch it up and you want to leave this little loop right here for the diamond knot at the end so just like put your thumb through at least that's how I do it so yeah that should be fine then just tighten it up Alright, now we can start the braiding. Well, yeah, and then uh, you want to just create your diamond knot down here. So I'm going to create my diamond knot and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my diamond knot uh, fitted right here. And now you need a fit for this part. So just going to, uh, let's use the other strand first and do it right. All right. So I have it fitted, and then you want to just take it right through the middle of the knot. Just creating a little hole. All right, there we go. Then you just want to pull it through. 
I'm gonna do the same thing with the other knot, other uh, strand. So then you'll get something looking like this. This is what you want. So I'm gonna do this to both my uh, strands and then I'll be right back. All right, so we have our uh, four strand cord set up. They're all going through this diamond knot down here. The good thing about this is that uh, even if it's too small or too large, you could always adjust the size of this. And yeah, all right, so let's get into the weave. So I have my uh, two, or my black strand here is what we're gonna be working with. So just grab your fed, you're gonna lead it into the half hitch we made up here. All right, so let's just right through the middle of it. Whoops. All right. All right, so I got it through. Uh, I realized I'd put it a little too tight. So yeah, then you just wanna pull it all the way down. Pull everything through. like that all right so from here we're gonna start the weave all right so what you what you want to do is take this strand and go uh, sorry take the strand go over the first two like this then go back around Oh, uh, you do. You don't need the fit anymore, so you can take that off. Uh, you're gonna go back around these, the first two, like so, and then down through the middle and back up like this. And then just pull everything through. So your end result should look like this oops sorry so like this and then you just want to cinch that knot up make sure it's tight and then you're gonna do the exact same thing then you're gonna take this back down back around over the first two and then through the middle of the two strands and so that is pretty much it for the venom bracelet and then you just tighten it up and you're good to go so now you just want to keep doing this all the way down. Make sure you keep cinching it back up when you're done. And then, yeah. So I'll show you guys two more uh, weaves and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So you're going to go through the middle right here. over the first two, then down through through the middle and above this loop right here. So always make sure you're above the loop. Then just cinch it up. This one's gonna be a little bit quicker. Then over 
the first two. And through the middle. Just like that. And you're just going to continue that all the way down. And then I will show you how to finish the bracelet off. Alright. I will see you guys at the end. Finished here. Uh, I just ended it with two knots. So then... Uh, we could close it like this, and so it'll be pretty stable. Uh, so I like the way this turned out, but I decided maybe we should add some accenting to it. But first, let's finish off this end. So I had just have some red microcord here, and we're just going to do some over-under knots. Uh, so in other words, we're just going to be doing some, uh, what do you call it, uh, cobra knots. So, over, under, and through. Alright, there we go. So yeah, just want to end it, up, end it out like that. I think that might look pretty good. Just like that. You're just gonna keep doing that all the way down until you reach uh, uh, maybe about there, and then you're just gonna cut and cinch. And I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll uh, come back when I'm done. So now uh, we're doing the stitching that goes down through the middle, and all I did was I made a knot at this end and pulled it through the top right here, and then. Uh, I can show you one more time. Uh, just uh, playing around with, uh, playing around with it. Um, so I went through the first weave, as you can see right there, like that. I went through the first weave. Uh, went over here and down through the second, like that. So I can show you again, I'll do a couple of weaves. So you're going to take your fid and push it through this joint right here. Hold on. Camera could focus. Yeah, you're going to push it through this joint right here. So like so. Like that. Just going to push everything through or pull it through just like that yep and then it'll slowly come together as you can see then you just want to keep doing that over and over so now this one, this next one, I'll pull it through this joint right here. So it'll come through like that. Just like that. Then just pull it all through. I think I just accidentally put this through the loop. There we go. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, so you don't want to do this. You just want to let it go through. Then we'll come back and fix the end of this. My cord's getting tangled everywhere. There we go. So then you just want to cinch that up right there. So yeah, it comes together pretty well. 
I'm liking the way it's uh, coming along so far. So the next weave, we'll just it'll just keep going over to the other side. So it'll be this joint next. Then after this, it'll go down to here, then down to here, and so on and so forth all the way down there. And then over there, we're just going to melt it and fuse it to the side or something. So yeah. I'll show you guys one, uh, two more times, and then uh, I'll show you how to finish it off and how to finish off the f beginning. So now since we came through this side, we're going to join it right there, and then pull it through. And I feel, and this uh, gives a little bit of the Venom uh, look to it. Like the his symbol and everything, all his white accents on his suit, or the symbiote, I should say. So yeah, turned out to be like that. So now, one more time, and, I'll, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So now we're gonna go through this joint right here. Make sure you don't damage your cord when you're pulling it through because that does happen sometimes and it doesn't look good after that. But uh, small little things are fine. Just make sure you just try not to do it. Um, it doesn't turn out too well if you do. So just be careful. So, yeah. and, and then you want to just make sure you keep pulling it tightly after each uh, weave. All right, so now I'm going to uh, do the rest of this and then I will see you guys at the end and finishing it off. So I finished up the stitching for this and uh, I finished it by just pulling it through down here. I was able to get it with the melted off end of the other the solid 550 paracord and I melted it right there as you can probably see it and then this one right here I'm just gonna cut it I'm just gonna cut it right there and cinch it I'm gonna leave the knot there because it's it's pretty solid it's not really moving that much uh, I guess it's keeping it all together so yeah just gonna cut it like that and then light it up try not to melt your cord when doing this oh whoops all right yes yeah, that's, that's good all right yeah, as you can see right there, we've finished it up. Let me just focus the camera. There we go. So yeah, just finished it up. And yeah, I really like the way this has turned out. Uh, can't wait till the Venom movie comes out. Uh, hopefully it's really good. And yeah, I I really love the way this uh, turned out. Um, uh, the way I finished, the way it's finished over here. Uh, it just gives a little bit of accent to it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, so hit that subscribe button uh, if you are not subscribed already. Uh, hit the like button down below if you like the video, and comment down below what, uh, how you think the Venom movie will be, and if you like the character or not. I personally love the character. It's been one of my favorites since uh, I was little, and yeah, that'll be all. I'll see you guys in the next video.